I'm in well, out, just outside Tucson, Arizona. I had a great trip today. Uh, it just it was incredible. This this is one of the most beautiful places that I've ever seen. This 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 whole drive, pretty well from Oklahoma to here, was just to totally inspiring. And uh, I'm four hours off the East Coast, so. It's uh, pretty weird. Like it's it's only uh, supper time here, and it's I think it's well past nine o'clock at home. And uh, so I'm playing for a charity event here, and uh, this uh, gentleman booked us booked me here for this special request. And uh, the the gig is in a, is in a golf resort, and when I got here. People were waiting for me at the door. You know, Mr. Cormier, I welcome. And uh, this this place is ridiculous, ridiculous. They're paying for everything for me, anything I want. They're like, it's on us. You do whatever you, do whatever you want. Uh, valet driver, like whatever you want. You you just tell us what you need, and we'll give it to you. And uh, so they put me in this incredible suite. First of all, I'm going to show you some of this stuff because you just won't believe it. So this is my view. That's the golf course out there. And then, so this is my veranda. I have this huge veranda, having a few beers. Just had a great supper. Had a tremendous meal in here. And... Uh, so I'm gonna put the camera back on me while I do this. I'm watching Star Wars, of all things. Uh, uh, I'm watching uh, The Empire Strikes Back, I guess. Anyhow, so I'm just gonna keep you close up because I wanna show you this room from the front door. It's ridiculous. So, okay, here we go. It took me that long to get from the veranda to the door. So, okay, so here's the front door. I'm at the front door, boom. So you turn left from the door. You've got this beautiful kitchen. I've got these uh, louvered blinds that look out on the mezzanine where my room is. And uh, so we've got the full kitchen, microwave, fridge, full stove and oven. My Modelo I'm having a few of tonight. Keurig, fully stocked, kitchen sink, water and ice bucket, dishwasher. And then this is the foyer. Hi, everybody. All this antique furniture, everything's marble, stone, stone floor. And over here we have the old kitchen table, leather covered, antique, all the artwork. Really beautiful stuff, all tile work. A writing desk over here, workstation. Then over here we got the kit, the living room, big TV. I just had a tremendous meal. Caesar salad, calamari and shrimp, and those are little Wisconsin uh, cheese bites. So it's just amazing. Big leather couch, and boom, this huge king size bed. Dresser over there, dresser over here, another dresser over here, then the dressing area right here, and into the bathroom, big huge bathroom, and this ridiculous shower that would hold like six people. It's incredible, just amazing. And uh, yeah, it's it's ridiculous. I have never been in a hotel room like this in my life it's kind of freaking me out anyhow i'm here for two nights be here uh, tonight just resting tomorrow night's the gig night um i'm just gonna hang out here all day tomorrow and just relax and i haven't really had a lot of relaxed time on the trip really i've been staying in uh, hotels and such but um the uh 
just the level of comfort here is ridiculous. I can just sit here and I don't need a thing. I can have all my meals brought up here. I can go walk the golf course tomorrow or some of it. I think I'm gonna to try to do that, get my exercise in for the day. And it's just amazing. They're, they're treating me like a million dollars here. Um, it's called the Ventana Country Club. It's uh, just as, it's part, it's, I guess it's part of Tucson. It's like a suburb of Tucson, I guess. And, uh, but yeah, and there's all kinds of weird wildlife here. And I seen a road runner today at a gas station. It's a little bird about a foot high, he can run like a bastard. And uh, I've seen pictures of them, I never saw one in real life. And uh, yeah, it's just very relaxing. I'm having a wonderful afternoon here. I'm all fed up, got, don't need to eat anymore today. I'm all good, just gonna take a giant shower and hit that king size bed and get some good sleep. And uh, tomorrow I'm probably gonna, I'll probably rehearse a little bit. I've got to do, they've requested that I sing Hometown Battlefield because they, they have a lot to do with the military here. And uh, this is where the military aircraft graveyard is. I drove by it. It's insane. It's thousands of planes just lined up, basically wrapped up like RVs in the winter, full of white plastic. Um, it's just crazy. It's, it, the, the, this is one of the most beautiful places on earth. This, this part of the United States is, uh, there's no way to describe it really. It's, it's breathtaking because it's, it, you can be driving along and it's just desert on both sides of you as far as you can see. And then all of a sudden you're in these gigantic mountains with these bizarre rock formations and it's gorgeous here. It's thir it was 32 degrees today, zero humidity. Like I feel like a million bucks here because it, I have no allergies, no asthma, no nothing. I feel like a normal person here. It's just crazy, and uh, my lips are dried out. I'm not, I'm chapping because it's so dry, but I'm drinking lots of water. I'm gonna I'm gonna put some water in between these beers because you can only drink two or three beers, and then they start to go the opposite way. So I'm gonna have these Modelos, my after supper Modelo. Ooh, Modelo. And, uh, yeah, so that's, uh, that was the day. I just, I, I drove seven or eight hours. I stopped a bunch of times and looked at stuff. And went to some really cool, uh, you know, First Nations uh, jewelry places and all sorts of stuff like that. I had a good breakfast. I had a, you know a quick lunch at Popeye's, a couple of chicken strips. I wasn't really, I'm not really hungry when I'm driving. I'm just got my mind on looking at, I'm looking at everything. It's so fascinating to see everything. And uh, I drove through Lincoln County today where Billy the Kid was uh, not born, but was created by the Lincoln County Cattle Wars. There was plaques all over the place about him and about the places they used to hang out in between fighting and robbing people and whatnot. And uh, yeah, was, that was a very fascinating piece of history to drive through. And uh, yeah, so that was it. It was just a great day. And uh, tomorrow night's gonna be a fun gig. I'll probably do this again tomorrow at supper time, let you know how I'm doing. And the gig is right here in the main dining room. It's sold out, there's 115 seats, they're all full. And uh, they paid quite a bit of money to get in. It's, it's a charity gig for, I believe it's for youth of some, some stripe. I don't remember what they told me, uh, but it's a charity event. They do a lot of charity events here, apparently, especially, and for the military as well, for veterans. So it's, uh, that's pretty cool. I think that's a nice thing to do. And uh, they're just super nice folks and they've treated me like gold and I'm just blown away. I can't get over how nice it is here. The sun's still up. It's about, uh, I'm not sure what time it is right now. It's around six o'clock, maybe something like that. And uh, yeah, so that's it. That's been my day. I'm all mellowed out, having a beer, smoke, 
had a great meal and uh, played a more night. Then I'm heading back east. Three days drive up to Nashville. I'll be with my buddies at Gallagher Guitars and uh, then on to see Jeremy Shepard after that. And uh, yeah, that's been good, great. Gonna get home a couple of days before we have to catch the flight to Scotland. And uh, see now, uh, uh, Steve Baker made it home. He's back in Sweden, um, or he should be soon. He left Newark. He flew from Dallas to Newark and Newark over there. And uh, should be getting home some point soon, I think, I hope. And uh, it's a hard trip, it's a long trip, you know, going over to Europe from this part of the world. It's, you know, he was already halfway across the States, had to fly to the East Coast and then fly to probably Heathrow and then on and on it goes, right? So anyhow, there you go, boys. I love you. And uh, that's the vlog for today. All kinds of exciting things. And I'm going to go in there and lay in that shower and make a soap angel. Seriously, I really am.